Hello friends, welcome back to part 6 on building a full stack blog with React and Google Sheets. Last time we created our blog page and we did some other improvements as well on the home page. Uh, yeah, so this time we are going to uh, allow user to format the blog body with Markdown editor. So before we begin this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video. So let's begin. We are going uh, to use a package called React Quill. So let's just grab that and install. And the package is installed. Let's check the documentation. So what we need is these things. So we go to our create post component and import these two things. And we'll copy this and we'll go down and below our blog body text area, we'll paste this and in the value we'll set it to uh, body and on change uh, we'll do set body cool and as you can see here just a sec Yeah, as you can see here, uh, we have our editor and we can write something and it, uh, as you can see, it formats it as HTML. So let's get rid of uh, our original text area. Cool. And now let's uh, try and uh, write something. Let's say and as you can see we can format this. We can add a link prob probably and uh, sh keyboard shortcuts work so you can uh, hit command B to bold, command U to underline, command I to italic and command K to do a link so for example yeah we can create a link like this okay so let's try and uh, create a new blog cool uh, we'll search for some react blog we'll copy uh, or let's go with uh, this one let's copy this title description image will search for react and this time we'll grab this one yes and in the blog body we'll copy some part of it how big is this okay so we'll do just up till here and let's paste it here and as you can see the formatted content is pasted uh, as formatted content itself so now what we can do is we can try and add some spacing right and and a bit more
Cool. So let's try and save this blog post. And the post has been created. So let's go and check it out. And here is our new blog post. Now, as you can see here that the blog post is there, but the text is basically HTML. So what we want is we want, don't want to render it as a string, but as HTML itself. So let's go back to our code. We'll go to the blog post.js file. And in here in the blog.body, instead of doing it as a paragraph, we'll create a pane. And we'll need to set uh, HTML on this pane. So let's search for dangerously set HTML in React. So we are looking for something like this. Yeah. So let's go back to the code editor. And as a prop, we'll use dangerously set inner HTML. And we'll paste our blog body here and we'll keep this empty and save and as you can see the blog now appears as formatted html instead of just uh, text so now let's set up some styles for this pane so we'll do it uh, give it a text align of start right cool and let's give this a padding of 10 mm -hmm. cool so this is looking good and here is a blog uh, we can add some other styles as well, like code blocks can have some background and things like that. So we can do that globally as well. We can go to app.css. We can do code background color, this, right? So, and color to be, uh, and some padding and we can do border radius right and we can do uh, font family to be cursive Oh, it's fine uh, the default is fine I guess yeah and then we can take a look at uh, these as well so these are pre so we can grab this QL syntax class and give it the same properties as well right so this looks much better than what it was previously so now our blog is being listed and we can read it from here we can create posts from here and as a markdown as well and we can do for the about page let's create an about page quickly we'll go to our components we'll create a new component about.js copy this uh, is it outside yeah so we need to put it inside components move now let's create the about component and this will return a pane and 
and just a heading that says about and a paragraph and uh, for now let's just grab any text cool and let's export this component then back in app.js we'll uh, here copy and paste this and selected index 2 uh, we'll do about cool and about can have some styles as well like margin zero auto and uh, width 60 percent right yeah and this could be size 800 yeah so this is our about page a create post page and our blocks are listed here we can go and read each block now feel free to change the style for the blog as you wish and i think this is it for the series and before i go i would like to give you some homework so let's go ahead in our readme file and let's create a roadmap of features that could be added to this blog. So uh, one could be the edit and delete blog post feature. So in order to do this, what you would need is you would need to create a new tab here called manage post or manage blogs. And there you list all the blogs in a list and uh, not like this, but uh, not the image just the title itself and you'll put two buttons one would be the edit and one would be the delete now on the delete button click you need to call an api so from this sheet db documentation uh, you would need to search for an uh, for the delete api and call this api to delete the blog post right by passing in the id of the blog post for the edit one you would need to use the update api right and you need to create components for each of those in react an update post component and a delete post component and then in those components you need to call these apis and both of uh, those components uh, the update component would have its own page like similar very similar to the add post page where something like this where all the posts, uh, where this form is displayed basically, and it says edit post, and these fields are pre-populated with the, uh, the blog post that you are editing. And once the, after editing the blog post, when you uh, click the button save, then the update post API should be called. And for the delete, uh, you can decide if you want to have a separate component or on the manage blog space page when the delete button is pressed on the list uh, then the blog post it is deleted right there and then so this is one feature now next feature could be that uh, you can hide the create post page because uh, your blog will be public so you don't want uh, everyone to create post so what you can do is you can hide this you can just remove it from the array and you can have it locally when it's in your machine or what you can do is you can put a password here so before displaying this there will be a password field and after the user submits a password and you can match the password with the one that you have set and if the password matches only then you show this form so that could be the second feature that you can build so password for create post page 
right? And third feature could be basically that you make this look a bit nice and you add some other UI elements like a footer, a header, some background gradients, uh, some different font families, uh, experiment with the ones you like, uh, things like that. Yeah. So improve UI and CSS, right? And then the fourth step could be that you can host this blog on a hosting provider such as Netlify. So host on Netlify. You can host on Netlify for free as a React static site. So this way you'll be able to deploy your own React uh, JS blog. And this would be a nice project uh, to show on your resume uh, for recruiters that you have created your own blog. And not just for the sake of this project, you can actually maintain this blog and publish uh, blog posts. For example, this is my blog. And here you can see that I regularly publish uh, content here. So uh, you can create your own blog after you you can use this one that you have created in this series and you can style it as you want with another style library or with this one and just uh, let your imagination run wild and host it, deploy it and maybe get a custom domain if not then that's fine you can keep the netlify free domain and yeah just share your blog with others and document your journey so i hope you like this project and if you want more project series like this this one in the future then please comment and let me know if you have any feedback please let me know as well and it would mean a lot to me uh, if you subscribe the channel as it uh, encourages me to create more content. So I hope you like this series and this is goodbye. Thanks.